What's going on guys, it's your boy Sissy here, back with another episode of the Space Engineers Beginner's Guide. This is episode 3, I think. I think I'm correct. Where we will be looking at building your very first ship, or whatever you need to know to build a ship. So, uh, this is by no means a tutorial on how to look, make your ship look beautiful or better looking. This is just functional things and how to get your ship off the ground, fly around and things you got to be careful of when building your ship. So, this is a little bit of a frame uh, that I built just for uh, explanation purposes. Um, but usually when you start in survival or creative, it doesn't really matter, you will mostly always start with a landing gear. So if you press G on the keyboard, you can see if we find the landing gear that we can actually put this down quite easily. Press the one key again to make it smaller. Place it down and it will automatically lock on the ground. That's the same on survival mode, but you'll have to weld it first. And now you can build off this um, and create your ship. So, you can kind of go like this and like this. Yes. Alright, so let's remove this. Now that you have like built your sort of frame or um, the thing that you want to build or like the shape you want to have it sort of, um, you can actually start to, um, you know what, forget that. You don't really need to build a frame, uh, just build how you want to, but just keep these, uh, these things in mind. So first of all, your ship needs power to function. That's probably the most basic thing that your ship needs. It powers thrusters, or most of the thrusters. Uh, the ion and the atmospheric thrusters are powered by energy, and the hydrogen thrusters are powered by hydrogen, which you can generate with using ice in a oxygen generator. More of that in episode two. So, um, of course we are in an atmosphere, so we want to use atmospheric thrusters because ion thrusters only work in space and atmospheric thrusters only work in an atmosphere of a planet. Um, so we, the, the first thing we need is energy and a thrust, so power. Uh, getting up, like moving around. So let's start with power first. The sun is out, so we'll use like a solar panel. You can also use reactors, but uh, reactors use uh, uranium so if you really want to you know if you really want to be safe just place down a reactor even when you have solar panels because um, if the sun is down and you only have solar panels your energy will drain and you will crash to the ground however to counteract this of um, flying at night while only having solar panels you can use batteries that, that's these big boys let's place it right here Batteries store energy that is generated inside the grid. So this is a grid. Um, the landing gear does not um, is not a connector for grids. So um, this entire thing, as you can see, if I do it like this, you can see that this entire box here is one grid. That's this boy. Um, the platform will not be taken into this grid because the landing gear is not a connector. If we would connect this with a merge block, it would become one giant grid. So that's a bit how grid works. It's the same as with stations and, and large ships, so uh, yeah. So now this ship has power. It's generating power from the sun and it's storing it into the battery. The battery is already full. So now we can put this energy to good use. Just for the sake of it, let's place down a uh, reactor. As you can see, you have a big one. You also have a small, uh, or I mean, you have a small one. You can, can also get a big one. But keep in mind that the big one. Um, produces a shit ton of energy, but it slurps uranium like a slushy, or yeah, or when drinking a slushy. So anyway, uh, now we actually want to get this guy off the ground, but we cannot get it off the ground without having like a cockpit or something to control it even. So we'll get a cockpit. Here we are, and let's place it like right on the front here. Let's, let's place one here and then uh, like this. There we go. So now we have a place to control it from. And uh, yeah, we can see our stuff down there. So uh, yeah, that's done. So now we have power and a cockpit. Uh, be mindful though that the cockpit does usually doesn't um, supply oxygen to the guy inside. So you'll have, so you'll, you will need to feed it oxygen through this port. Uh, I don't know if in the recent update they fixed this, so it actually comes in automatically. 
but you'll have to check that out. Just sit in here with your visor open. If you die, you'll need oxygen. If not, you'll need it. So, okay, thrust. So now we have a control position. Now we have energy. So let's get this boy off the ground. We need atmospheric thrusters. That's probably mostly always the next step. You can you can build this in any order you want, but I mostly go with uh, like a standard sort of um, yeah planning of how I do this. So one upwards thruster will yeah give us or one large upwards thruster will give us enough power uh, thrust power to stay off the ground and not crash to the floor and burn in fiery wreckage. All right, so we also want some maneuvering thrusters. I'm gonna turn on my, um, my, um, I don't really know how you call this, mirror mode, um, and we'll like build it like this. So we'll have four thrusters for sideways maneuvering. So two on this side, two on that side. We'll place two more over here and in here. So that's four thrusters on each side. We'll also have forwards thrusters, because yes, you'll need to do this forwards backwards every single way so let's do two backwards here and two backwards here to apply backwards thrust forwards thrust sideways thrust and now we have upwards thrust and we only need downwards thrust so let's put these guys over here four on each side we are done we are ready so I have put four upwards instead of, um, I think I did that. Oh no, never mind. I, I'm just imagining things. So now we have thrust in every single direction. It's very important to have it in every single direction because this makes you able to hover and uh, move around without crashing to the ground at certain angles. Because if you do not have sideways thrusters on this part, if you roll like this, you will crash to the ground because you do not have any thrusters to counteract the gravity. So just make sure you have thrusters in all sides and make sure that the thrust power is yeah, equal on, a, on each side. So now we can actually move around with this guy. Um, so let's grab the landing gear. Let's set it to switch lock. Now we are unlocked and as you can see, we can now fly around easy as all screw magics or whatever so as you can see at the bottom right if we go upwards or like move around a lot and use a lot of our thrusters it goes to 100 energy and you can see that we are slowly going down now i don't want that let me just get this out of auto lock because that's an annoying thing if we go down lock ourselves in we actually want to fix this so let's build a another reactor on here to counteract this and another battery because usually if that happens it means that it doesn't have enough output of energy towards the thrusters to maintain the power that it uses i hope that's kind of clear so if we do it again right now you can see that the bar doesn't reach the 100 percent therefore it will always be able to move exactly where it is and it will not drop down to the floor in space this is another an, another story because you don't really have gravity so it won't fall to the floor but you know what i mean so try to keep the uh, the energy bar from not reaching 100 because that will make you crash to the ground now you can see everything is red because i turned it off it's kind of uh, an automatic thing that i do if i exit something um, you press y to turn on and turn off a ship very important so check on the right on the bottom right if it's red or if it's white and you can see the battery power how long it will last with the current movement we are now standing still we're not doing anything and that is real life day so if we stand here we can leave this here for 28 days and then it will drop to the floor so uh, it, it won't st it still won't drop to the floor because it has a landing gear but you know what i mean so let's keep this on for now because we are in creative and we have infinite energy. Um, all right, so next up, we have power, we have thrust, we have a cockpit so we can fly around with this guy. This is basically the basics of building a ship and uh, yeah, flying around with it. When using uh, uranium, 
Uh, always be mindful that you have to refill this with uranium um, because if you fly around and you forget to refill your uranium, boof, there goes your ship. You do not want to have that. So we want actually we want this guy to actually you know have some cargo capacity. So we'll place down a medium cargo container which is exclusive to only small ships. You cannot build this on a large ship. You can only use the small and large ones on a large ship, which is kind of weird, but hey. Um, so yeah, so now it has some cargo capacity, we can put stuff in here, and as you can see, it has a mass. Now, right now, it doesn't weigh anything. However, if we drop stuff in here like this, it becomes 61 kilograms. I will show you this, actually. If we go in here, right now it's in my inventory. It should also... let me see, grid mass, 22,000. If we put it in here, this should increase it. 22,000, and it is now... Did it increase or did it decrease? Am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. Give me a second. 22,000 and now it's... Yeah, okay, so it did increase. Uh, it was just one... Uh, no, uh, 105. So it did increase in grid mass. Once you are uh, hauling cargo, your ship will become heavier. Which means that you will need more thrust to keep it up. If you have a mining ship and it will dig stone gradually, it will eventually fill up its inventory, which means that it will become heavier the longer you mine. So if you do not have the adequate thrust to keep you up, you will actually drop down to the floor because the ores and stone that you have mined are too heavy to carry. So keep that in mind when hauling cargo, be, be sure that you can actually uh, yeah, carry enough to fly around with this. So I'm actually going to change this because I want, uh, I do not want um, the, uh, what, what am I going to say, lol. The landing gears to be that low. I actually want it to be quite close to this. Be mindful though that it doesn't, that this doesn't uh, touch the ground because that will damage your blocks. I also want one <coughs> right over here. We'll place two of these over here. It doesn't really matter because these are facing upwards and sideways. Also a good thing to note. Also a good thing to note is that the if thruster damage is turned on in your world, like these, if a block is like right over here, it will actually break. Because the flame will destroy it. So, now that we have this, let's get this baby off the ground. Let's put these guys in a group. As you can see, you can select them with holding shift and clicking. Auto lock, let's turn it all off. Let's unlock them all. And then let's um, call them landing gears. There we are. We'll remove this guy. There we go. So now it's an actual flying ship. And as you can see, you can always leave your ship. It'll just keep hoovering. So now we've made the basic ship. This is kind of, you know... Clumsy, it's a very big ship. You can even stand on this because we have enough thrust power and your character almost weighs zero, so that doesn't really matter. Um, also, a cool thing if you build a platform, you can like keep these guys floating and like get your gun and shoot from, from below, or have like a hang little hangar base and have your mate pilot the ship and you can fly and then do 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 fire with a gun. I don't know. The possibilities in, the, in this game are limitless. So let us uh, select the group by pre pressing G again when in a ship. Then select it over here and then switch lock. Zoom in and let's set this guy to the ground. Boom, turn it off. There we go, our basic scouting ship and of course, hauling cargo. So uh, that's basically it for the basics. Uh, you can of course do way more with uh, shipbuilding than just, you know, this because you can put some weapons on there let's do that as a last thing let's do some weapons or like a gatling gun some gatling guns that should be cool for protection boom be, sh be mindful though that the conveyor uh, thing must be on the side you can always hook it up to cargo and put ammo in it so it refills automatically you know you can always do what you want you can also fill it uh, manually but we are in creative mode so we can use these ourselves as you can see Press G, block weapons, Gatling gun, fire away. Hello? Oh wait, the ship's off. Now we can fire away. 
So now we have the basics. The very basics of a ship that can fly around, do stuff, and actually, you know, use its thrusters. Now, oh, I almost forgot. A very important part about your ship also is that you actually need a gyroscope. Because otherwise that will happen. Did you see that? That how it turned and didn't stabilize? Gyroscope. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Very crucial parts. One of the first things you put on your ship. Can't believe I missed that. You don't really need many of them. Which one is enough for this grid. But if you build like large ships, you probably need multiple. Doesn't matter which direction it's facing. You can always just place it down and it will do its job. That will actually give us the ability to move around like this. Move around with our mouse and actually aim our stuff, as you can see. So... With this we have the basics, now we definitely have the basics. Fly around, do your thing, shoot some stuff, whatever you want. I don't know why the left one is firing slightly, with a little bit of a delay, but hey. Works fine, carries cargo, uh, it moves kind of slow, but that's because we don't really have that much thrust. Play around with it, test it for yourself. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys create some marvelous ships in the future. I will make an advanced shipbuilding guide uh, for like the advanced stuff. With like uh, remote controlled stuff with drones and, and, what, and whatever. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna land this bad boy over there on the platform. And uh, I hope to see you guys very soon in the next episode where we will take... Where we will... Sorry. Be taking a look at some more advanced stuff that comes with this game hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you want to and i hope to see you guys in the very next episode of space engineers the beginner's guide touchdown touchdown well see you later guys